All right, guys, 2021 Jeep Gladiator. This is what it sounds like before. Go ahead. Again, as you guys can see, it's very, very quiet. You can barely hear it. You can't hear nothing. So we're gonna install a Borla system on it. Part number 140809CB. So there'll be a link in the description for it if we can find it for you guys. It's uh, supposed to be like a, a dump, a Borla dump. So, ah, always having problems with boxes. 2022 Jeep Gladiator. Beautiful truck, V6. As you guys can see, there's a lot to come to it. It's only got 5,000 miles on it. He's gonna put a winch, he's gonna put a lift, he's gonna bigger tires, bigger wheels, a lot of things. So the first thing he started with was we cut that off and the rest of it over there. And we put a Borla system that he brought. Anyways, this is Jeep's way of equalizing back pressure. As you guys can see, look at that bend. Crazy design to make up for this far of a distance on this side, as you guys can see. Look at that there. And then it winds into a single there. And then we took the resonator that was on here and put a Borla S-type system there. Then there's a Borla muffler there. It's all bolt on, as you guys can see. And we always tack them just in case so they don't loosen back out, especially on Jeeps and stuff, because of, they go off-roading. And then it goes over the rear axle and out the back, dumped right there to complete the look, as you guys can see right there. Just came out really nice, really clean. There's the old system that was on it. There's the muffler. There's the maybe resonator. We took all that and we showed you that other resonator right there that I showed you at the start. And that's what it looks like after. We'll let you guys hear it in a second. Like always, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell or Jared will be upset. There's the part number right there for it. 2020 Jeep Gladiator lifted V6. What we got done on it, still got factory converters and the loop-de-loop -loop pipe right there. See it? Equalize pressure from this side to this side, as you guys can see because one side is longer, so they put that loop-de-loop -loop on it. That's what I call it. Wise into a single, then it's got a mid muffler we didn't take off, or mid resonator. Then it had a stock muffler, a huge one we'll show you in a minute. And we replaced it with a Magnaflow single end dual out. Magnaflow number 12198, right there. If you guys wanna purchase that muffler, there'll be a link in the description. Then custom bent two and a quarter tailpipes, there, all the way back all the way back into three and a half inch by 18 rolled black tips because it looks good on there's that original tailpipe the original muffler that we cut off and it had another resonator in the back too so they really made sure that it's quiet well let's see how it sounds now we'll let you guys hear it in a second hope you guys like it it's the overload edition lift it bearings just clean As you guys can hear it again go ahead and back it out I like it and it'll get a little bit louder after 30 45 days once it breaks in all the way it's not too bad Let you guys hear on the inside. There's 
one more uh, resonator on it you can cut off. What do you think? I think it's all right. You don't want it too loud. No, I don't. No, no. I think it's perfect. We'll try it for a couple of weeks. We're always here. We ain't going nowhere. I like the way that looks. I Go ahead and back it up. Like Team Gladiator. Ready for anything. Uh, oh, he's got a pinstripe in next. Oh, cold air. It's got a little pep in its step. Okay. Yeah. 